What's up guys? Welcome back. It's Maverick here today with another episode of Spy Family. Last episode, uh, we had the volleyball, or sorry, not volleyball, dodgeball tournament, right? Which didn't really amount to anything, but at least we saw a little bit more uh, interaction between Anya and Damien, right? We knew that Damien wasn't really a bad guy at heart, and so, you know, he's kind of being being put into like a Cinderay character, if you will, at this point. So that was fun and all. We had some memorable characters like Bill, holy shit, Bill. Uh, but I think by and large, a lot of people are saying that that was actually kind of expanded upon. Like that wasn't supposed to be like, you know, a, a full blown episode or chapter within the manga either. So in any case, um, I guess we'll just continue on, right? Anya is still searching for her first Stella. Uh, I mentioned last episode, I feel like even if she is going to get one, it's probably going to come out of nowhere. Uh, I do feel like the headmaster dude um, is more of somebody who awards these out, you know, based on his own prerogative and rather than, you know, some, some kind of big tournament thing or, or whatnot or, or, you know, saying in advance that, hey, if you do well on this, you can get a Stella. I feel like that's a little bit too... How should I say? It's a little bit too patronizing in a way, or, or I guess in any case, that wouldn't be his definition of elegance, right? So with that in mind, let's get into the episode. I'm not really sure if we're still going to be Anya focused, but I would hope that she receives Estella before the end of this season. So with that in mind, let's get going. Alrighty, I skipped over the opening. Let's just begin in the episode in three, two, one, play. Well, what do you know? Stella! Hoshi Star. Alright. F. <laughs> oh my god. Can't she just use her? Can't she just use? Oh. Can't she just use her mind reading to read those around her and read the answers? Or is it, like, maybe not as convenient as we think? <laughs> Seven? <laughs> Oh, damn. This guy. Oh, okay, there you go. Because there are too many answers? She definitely has a weird interpretation. I mean, I guess she's just a child. She's just a kid, right? I mean, it's it's easy to forget sometimes because she seems, in some way, she's more mature than, than her age. But in reality, she's just like six or seven, eh? Um... Giraffe? Oh. 
It's a it's a cow. <laughs> That's um. Look at you just standing there. That's a good question, though. Is the other going to? Like, where did four mums come from? Like, based on what information? Hmm? Oh. Maybe sympathy? The ability to sympathize with people? Right. Like acts of extraordinary, like going above and beyond what is necessary, right? And this is definitely more like <laughs> I mean, I definitely was thinking, you know, kind <laughs> Okay, never mind. <laughs> How clumsy can you be, Anya? <laughs> Anyways, I was kind of uh, thinking that the way that she would earn Stella's would probably be um, by acts of extraordinary feats, eh? So. And so, Anya goes to the pool. <laughs> Is he gonna fall into the water or something? Well, and so I guess Anya's gonna hear his voice. Hear his thoughts. All right, all right. Okay. You would think the.
She's gonna get... Oh, thank goodness she can swim, right? Ah, uh, I guess... Lloyd to the rescue, right? Shouldn't you be doing CPR immediately, though? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was thinking like in a hospital pool, nonetheless. I know, but it's, it's a hospital pool for God's sake. Anyways. So they actually did. Is that like literally maybe the first Stella that was awarded? Oh yeah, she is. And yet Lloyd is still going to be none the wiser? Wow. And by the way, we still have like half of the episode left. So is it going to be like another ep another mini episode or something? <laughs> Everyone respect plus 100. Okay, so it seems like there is going to be like a second NES. Yeah, yeah, anyways. I thought that was kind of like how, how a Stella would be awarded. Nice disguise.
<laughs> Don't get too full of yourself. <laughs> So she got two two records now, right? The fastest bolt ever awarded and the fastest Stella ever awarded, eh? Something like that. <laughs> Anya san? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No, that's never going to happen. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, of course you're supposed to wear it. Alright. Maybe? A chance of some progression? Right. Oh, are we getting a pet now? I mean, it would go... Uh, anyways, as I was, as, sorry, I didn't, I'm not really, because I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> 
it's this ridiculous daydreaming. But anyways, uh, having a having a dog definitely fits into the entire like perfect family kind of vibe, right? <laughs> really? Get like a husky. <laughs> okay, in the end is it going to be like some some weird kind of pet? Why am I expecting something like not not a dog at all, right? Like in the end it's gonna be like, I don't know, like a turtle or, or a hamster or something. But with this kind of sub-story, I guess we are going to be having a dog. Ooh. A dog with psychic powers as well? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and there we go, eh? Mm, Alright. So, see you guys after this. A congratulations Anya for earning her first star. Uh, so even though I was saying that I hope she can earn one before the end of this season, I actually wasn't expecting her to earn one in, like literally immediately, right? Uh, I thought it was going to be like one of the last things that happens this season and sort of like being the, the climax or the highlight of this season, right? We end it with her getting her first Stella, things are looking up, and then we can end this season and wait for the next one. Uh, but okay, so it seems that she's got one, she's going- and to be honest, I'm not too surprised that this is the route that we're going for. It, it seems- um, especially for someone like Anya, I definitely feel like she would earn Stella's much more in a in these sort of ad hoc situations, rather any sort of tournament or or grades or things of that sort, things of that nature, right? And, and it ties in a lot more with the concept of you know like a hero or a main character, like that kind of thing. Uh, so not not surprised. I mean, the setting itself was a little bit cliche. Honestly, I was thinking. I was thinking more like an even larger emergency, but you know, I guess a kid almost drowning could be, <laughs> would be considered a pretty big emergency, right? Um, but you know, I, I I was definitely thinking about like some 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 acts of courage, that kind of thing. So uh, maybe not quite exactly the the thing that I was thinking of, but I mean, it all works out at the end, and and <laughs> uh, looks like Anya has broken two records now, right? Breaking, breaking a record for getting the fastest bolt ever, like literally in the morning of the first day of school, and also getting the first uh, Stella as well. So good on her, breaking all the records, Anya-chan. Um, beyond that though, like, I think the most interesting development this episode has got to be the doggy, right? Uh, because it seems that, I was originally thinking that this might turn into a situation where, you know, at, at the end she instead gets some kind of pet that nobody would, would realize or, or, you know, completely out of the blue, like I said, maybe a turtle or a hamster or something like that. But, okay, it, with that, I think it is going to be a dog, right? Or at least... I mean, I could totally see it happening for, for two reasons. One is because, like, they are supposed to be the perfect family, right? And if you consider, like, what was supposed... Because this is going for a very, like, 
I don't know, like 60s, 70s concept of, um, you know, Western style of, of a perfect family. And so you got to have a dog to round it out, right? You got to have a pet to round it out. I, I think, and, and, you know, specifically a dog. Uh, so I, I could totally see that trying to, uh, you know, trying to mold them into this sort of like perfect family archetype. So I think a dog definitely makes sense there. Uh, and secondly, because we literally see that that dog seems to have some kind of psychic powers as well, right? Now, judging, uh, judging by that, I'm going to guess that the dog has like powers of foresight, right? Predictive powers, that's that sort of thing, because we, we saw the dog uh, sort of like having a vision right and it seems that it's it was the forger family like looking looking at him you know meeting him for the first time and and maybe considering to adapt him so because of that i'm going to assume that it's sort of like a foresight ability a sort of pre precognition ability here and that definitely is going to be interesting right because um you know i highly doubt that this is going to be a dog that can if if that is going to be like a long-term character right uh or or i guess a long would, would that be considered a long-term character character or, or anyways it's going to be like a, a long-term part of the family right then it's going to be quite interesting in how exactly the dog manages to communicate with um with the forger family right with lloyd with with yoru with anya like how exactly how exactly if he detects any sort of situation is he going to warn them or or is he going to be going off doing his own thing kind of like similar to what anya did this episode and by the way you know again i know it's for the sake of the 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 story and whatnot but i definitely feel that lloyd is overlooking a lot of things you know considering his personality considering what we've seen him so far of him so far with his observation skills and whatnot like how can he not i guess it's maybe like two too out of the blue like to to suspect somebody has psychic powers but but at the same time though he, he has to get, at least be a little bit suspicious right because anya literally said there was someone drowning in the pool and and then immediately went in and saved the dude right so yeah he's got to have at least some suspicion of of sorts but all right all right we we will leave it at that um and yeah i think that's pretty much it for this episode um damien you know the dude is really growing on me right uh i i thought he was a pretty interesting character even from the beginning it, because you know if we if we look at this from a more of a shonen perspective right or or a sort of like um you know this kind of battle anime perspectives or whatnot and and if anya was like um the, your stereotypical shonen protagonist instead then damien would basically be the cindere like the cindere uh highborn like like you know in, in a lot of the, the shonen sort of archetypes right and because it's shonen the main character would be would be a boy right or a guy and then then damien would kind of be like your your stereotypical like rich lady uh ojo sama who who uh who keeps up this air of of i'm better than you and and whatnot and that air of arrogance and then later kind of um kind of falls in love with the main character or or and we all know that actually deep down the you know that 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 center character actually cares and and whatnot uh and is actually a good person <laughs> you know that that kind of archetype right so you know i, I feel like damien fits that archetype to a t it's just that the, the roles are sort of like reversed with anya being a girl and him being a guy but but this the character archetype is still there damien is definitely one of those uh good-natured cindere characters who tries to keep up this this air of um of authority but uh fails miserably at it right or, or i guess in this case he's still holding it up somehow but somehow i have this sneaking suspicion that probably in the future it's going he's just going to become um more and more so uh lax in terms of his air of a 40 if you will but i guess that is for the future in any case uh that is it for this episode and i do believe this is the this is the penultimate episode here this season only has 12 and then we need to wait until the next season so you know are they going to end on a high note oh if if we do think about like it think about it like that perhaps next episode they are going to you know uh adopt a dog and um yeah and then they are going to be like one big happy family going into the second season i guess that works as well in any case we'll know next time uh, thank you guys and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye